yes, I'm in the basil greenhouse. Last week, I needed to transplant out my flat of a second succession of basil into this bed because it was ready, but I also needed to cut all of this orich to go into my salad mix this week. So I am just now starting to cut the orich. I'm going to yank it out and then I'm going to transplant that second succession of basil into this bed. Everything cleared out and ready to plant basil. Before I transplant basil, I'm going to come over to the cucumber greenhouse here and grab this little bit of orich, whatever I can get. I don't know. A lot of this leaf is just kind of looking a little old and sad. I mean, these ones are bright, but um, a lot of it's not, not worth fiddling with. So I'm going to cut these plants out too and give my little new orange a chance to grow. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that's all cleared out. Um, I'm going to have to start stringing up my cucumbers. A few of them are getting tall enough. Seventy-two plants. The soil blocks were moist and the soil was moist, but I went ahead and watered them in just to settle the roots because I figured hopefully the sun doesn't come out and burn their little leaves with a little bit of moisture on there that, that landed on there. Um, and yeah, come on little buddies, grow, 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 grow. I cut some of this batch of basil to see kind of what the packs would look like for the store. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab some for myself too. Here's a big old guy. I didn't bring any scissors with me. You think I can snap it off with my finger? No, need some skizzers. Skizzers, there we go. Oakley Doakley, I was just in the basil greenhouse and I think I'm going to go ahead and come out here, plant this 20 foot succession of Salanova lettuce. I've got my red and green Salanova lettuce ready to go in the ground. Planted. 60 red and 60 green Salanova. So these beds are all full now of my weekly successions of lettuce. I have quite a few extras. I'm just wondering like, where do I, where might I plant these? <laughs> Maybe over here. Could I plant them where I've got big old gaps in my, in my lettuce bed right here? Um, I don't know. This baby chard right here needs to be picked. It's getting quite big. Um, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. So I ended up transplanting the extra Salanova from this week and last week in here with the lofty salad mix. Um, I thought that I was having a problem with germination here, but I swear there is something eating, you know, in here because I'd see like gaps that would seem to grow. Um, yes. I ended up watering in this 20 feet that I transplanted uh, just because the soil here, it was rototilled and it was just really super dry. So um, along with the baby chard I need to harvest, the Salanova over here for the salad mix next week. But yeah, I think I'll do that tomorrow. Last week I was supposed to seed some soil block trays. Um, yeah, a couple weeks ago I was scheduled to seed some green onion sets. And last week I was supposed to do my next succession of Salanova lettuce to replace those guys, once I've cut them, 
Um, and then I also wanted to seed a flat of kale as a kind of a second succession once these guys get old and kind of sad looking. So I'm going to try and get that done tonight. Um, better late than never, I guess. I've been kind of like an Eeyore. Uh, cause just a number of things are going weird. Um, mostly because I didn't seed enough trays of lettuce. I made a mistake at the beginning of the season and I tried to make up for that mistake by just direct seeding some lofty salad mix, which worked really great last year, but then that didn't come up very well. So I was just, my, you know, crop that I make the most money with, I haven't had enough to sell. So, um, that just kind of sucks. And, you know, really in a lot of ways, the end of the season is the end of August. This is the flat of green onions. I just filled it with, you know, crunched up soil blocks that hadn't germinated, you know, and then I just put in, uh, you know, a little brew of some pinches of seed and I'm just gonna cover these up with perlite and water them in. Forecast was for partly cloudy, but it looks mostly sunny to me. <laughs> And so I think I'm going to wait to harvest till this evening or tomorrow morning or something. Before. After. So I came out here when the sun was down a little bit. Got three tubs of baby chard. Forgot to show you my beautiful baby chard. So should I keep going and harvest that solenova lettuce back there? and take the chance that the no CMs are gonna get really bad. Uh, I guess the alternative is that I'd wake up early in the morning and have the no CMs get me. <laughs> so I'm gonna stay out here and uh, get the lettuce. I grabbed some of the green back there. Um, this right here is cut already and growing back. And then this is a first cut here of the red. I'm gonna grab these onions tomorrow. But yeah, I got a couple tubs of Salanova. I'm feeling less Eeyore today. Um, those three tubs of baby chard made me very happy. <laughs> um, it's nice to have lots of greens, more greens than I expected. And I got a few things resolved, which I'll tell you about when I get a few minutes. 16 green onions, some I pulled from there and a few I got from here. How many do I have left here? 27. So I decided to grab a total of 20. Now, how many do I have left? Let's do the math. 23. Okay. Got my salad mix prepped. So now I'm just going to prep these green onions. I think I've decided I don't like planting my onions with my lettuces because when I'm trying to kind of knock some dirt off, it just kind of gets the lettuces beside them dirty. So I, ugh, I don't know. I don't know. I had some big buddies and some little tiny buddies, so I was able to get 16 out of my 20 that I harvested. I'm using one of these. It was feeling a little hot out there today. I wonder if we'll reach 80. Some of the lettuce that I transplanted is uh, kind of taking it in the shorts, but they're probably grow out for the center. Uh, it's hot. Shady spots at 3.30. Another shady spot. Okay, so here's the deal, folks. Long story. I'm going to have a garden tour tomorrow. And I'm going to be selling here at the garden in a little white truck. Introducing Little White Truck. Um, little Red Truck is gone and this is Little White Truck. Okay, so I have tubs that hold eight, eight ounce bags of salad mix. I've got four full tubs, so that's 32, plus one tub that has seven, that is 39 bags, and three pounds for the restaurant. Naughty night.
Oakley Doakley Folklies. The little truck is all set up. But when the sun comes around this side, I need to harvest charred kale, parsley. 10 bunches of chard. Okay, I believe I have 10 parsley here. So pretty. So far I have 14 kale bunches. All right, I think that's 14 collard greens and six garlic scapes. My little dear friend, I think, has decided to come over here and eat my produce. I don't know. Don't eat my little thing. Don't eat my green things, buddy. Oh, she's just gonna pee in the potato patch. Okay, I, I'm so late. I've got my sign for the road. My little dear friend's right here. Hey, buddy going on. Put it right in that little cone there. Oh yeah. baby. Does anyone not want to be in a video? <laughs> She's the little baby is checking out all the folks that are here today. Say hello everyone. Hello. <laughs> I forgot to take a picture before everything started so I've already got some things are gone. This is my little price list. I've got ice packs in between and underneath. And uh, that's for the salad mixes. And I've got water in for the greens. A tub for cash or check. <laughs> and change if people need it. And bags. And that is how I threw it together today. My new lettuce transplants are surviving. I might lose a leaf or two, but um, actually they're doing all right. La la la. All my little guys are surviving in here. Hello. Red leaf lettuce is popping up. Kale is popping up. Green leaf is popping up, and all these guys need to go out, except for the green onions aren't up yet. Another sunny day. Hi, silly goose. Hi, little baby. Hi, little baby. My goodness, he is like, uh, just a few feet away from me. It's okay, silly. It's okay. We're supposed to get some rain tomorrow. So I'm trying to get some clover cut underneath this kale and put down some more slug boards to try and catch the slugs. Clover's cut back and boards down here. Hopefully when it gets wet, the slugs will like living underneath there. Uh, we did get a little bit of rain yesterday morning. Hopefully my lofty salad mix will come up. I'm seeing some of them popping up in here. Uh, so yeah, I just got to get these last two half beds of kale. Clover cut back, boards put down. Hi, I'm back here in the kale. And... You might be wondering, why did I have a garden tour this week? Well, first of all, I've been wanting to do this for years for my customers that invite me for a long time, regularly. And it was a sunny week and I needed their input about how to sell my produce. Uh, because grocery store didn't work out. And I, we had kind of a misunderstanding about pricing um, they're super nice folks. Um, the produce guy is really awesome, and I, I had wished it had worked out because that would have been really great. But um, yeah, I just need probably just need more control over my own stuff, right? <laughs> and so people came out and let me know what they were thinking. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is set up an online ordering system, which I've talked about for years, but every time I think, oh, I'm so small and I'm selling so such a small amount of stuff, you know, is it really worth 
doing that, but I think definitely. So then people can kind of get online, do the order, pay with credit card, and then I can just sell the stuff here at the garden for the rest of the summer and see how that goes. So that kind of is the plan, folks. That's where I'm at. Oakley Doakley, kale is cleared of clover. And I've got the boards running down. Both beds. Done with that. Last project for the night before the rain. I've got my garlic here and I took a tent post and ran a groove down through the middle and seeded some clover really heavily just because I couldn't really control it. And I think I'm gonna kind of pinch it in. And um, then when this garlic comes out, I hope some of it survives and then there's gonna be something living in this bed, keeping everything from washing away. Okay, folks, that's it for the week. You think that I could ever have a drama free season that would be awesome ah <laughs> uh, yes until then i'll see you then <laughs>